So we're gonna. Um, I, I honestly, the reason I went with the Disney cards, I wanted to try Stone Brain. I didn't know what I wanted to cut. Um, I wanted to try Tabernacle. Like I wanted to try a bunch of stuff, and I just didn't know the best way to do it. If we're being perfectly honest. So I just kept adding cards and, and it just worked out perfectly. You know, um, we have uh, 16 black sources. I mean, yeah, swamps and dark grits. Then we have some castles. We added a maze of it to try also a tabernacle to try, um, which I want to see if they're any good. So like I wanted to try these and I added uh, an expedition map so that we could like you know, use a saga to tutor for it. And it just sort of spiraled out of control. So uh, sideboard as usual stuff. So, but let's see if Stone Brain, the big thing is let's see if Stone Brain is any good um, as a way to sort of, like, if we can, like, Thought Seize and him them and then Stone Brain, like, a win con or something like that. Uh, it might be terrible. It might be nice. So, let's see what goes on. What's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. Um and I got these. I didn't realize these mistress factories were available, so I'm pretty happy I picked them up. You can only get them in foil, but they're pretty sweet. Uh, the one lander, brutal, 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 brutal. I don't want to hear shit because it's 69 cards. We're running fucking 31 mana sources and 69 cards, which is still a, a lot. 40 something, 47 percent of the deck. Uh, Alucartes, thanks for that uh, judge info. Appreciate that. I thought that was right, but I was like confused because it wasn't giving an option, you know, so uh, I appreciate that. Well, thank you for following now. It's nice of you. Thanks, Pure Ghosty. Appreciate that. Now I don't want to play Saga. It looks like we're facing lands. Lands will be very difficult. <clears throat> Boo. Uh, yeah. I was hoping to hit like a Valkyrie Exploration or something. All right, it's gonna <laughs> move right into the one part of the combo. It's gonna be a. I, I did face Pox one time when I. Uh, well, I did face Lands one time playing Pox the last time, and it was a, a bit of a pain, as I recall. So the last card is Wasteland, which is pretty frustrating that they could Wasteland then Saga, like without having to loam it back. It's, it's a little annoying. I was trying just to hit the Wasteland, so we missed a 66 percenter. Game one will probably be tough. Uh, post board will bring in Opposition Agents, Leyland of the Void. That'll be nice. Stone Brain seems great versus Land, so like way better than him. So let's we'll see if we can actually. Get that going. What's up, Matt? 
Yeah, I appreciate it. I made a new playlist. I wanted to see how it went. That's a banger. So let's attack here for one. What's up, Graham? How are you? Playing or playing some uh, playing some pox. One hundred percent gonna. Um... So let's just get a saga here. Say go. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a tough one versus the. You know, when they have life from the lemon hand, it's definitely going to be a, a difficult battle. Name Curse Scroll. So they have Life from the Loam Unknown in hand. Oh, they don't have a mana source. Oh my. Do I have like a Nihil Spell Bomb or something in the deck? I have a Nihil spell bomb. Oh, they top decked it. Uh, imagine if like they just didn't top deck a land for one turn only. A mana producing land. Just had to fade one fucking land. It's brutal. Alright. Alright, um. Definitely making a dude here. Uh, do I just Pithing Needle Maze of it? Attack for six. Or I Spell Bomb their graveyard. I could actually Spell Bomb and draw a card. And then we just have to be like a Tabernacle, a Wasteland. And a saga. Can we beat that? My constructs are going to be bigger. If I if I maze this, I might if 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 I if I need all maze. And I'll have, what, three swamps, right? So I attack. They have to play... They're going to play Saga. If they play Tabernacle, I'll just pay three and my guys are bigger. I'm, I'm going to go for an aggressive route because I think that the, like, the long game favors them. Man, this is, this is a tough first one. Yeah, I'll, I'll check it out when I'm uh, sideboarding. All right, so they're going to go with Saga. Remember, we, I said Saga or Tabernacle. Okay. We're miles ahead currently. Wow, <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I can't believe we won that. Oh man, that was sweet. Oh, I think I want those. Probably.
probably cut hymns or probably hymns. Hymns and thought seizes, maybe. I could bring in Helm and just like Karn on its own is probably good enough. What do, what do people think about that? I'm not a pox person typically. Just look at someone else's mindset on something. I mean, does that it makes sense? Like, sort of why I'm trying to do that? Like, the hand disruption, I think, is just so bad. Like, it bricks a lot, and then they just loam it back. I don't know. Try it. I mean, I'm like, I'm not thrilled. I wish I had basics, but I'm going to keep. You know what I mean? Like, Stonebrand is awesome. Leyline's awesome. And they're mulling the five. So I'm just going <laughs> to pray that that's enough. map what do we got okay wow that's all they have okay we legitimately have a shot then all right Probably just going to waste them. I will do it now. I was going to say, like, in case they top deck crop rotation, but if they crop deck, top deck endurance, that would give them a chance to play it. That's annoying as shit. Well, that's redundant. Dark Depths. <laughs> With the Thespian stage. Oh, I guess we have Sudden Edict. I, wa I wanted to take... Dark Depths. But I guess with Sudden... I'd have to hold the Sudden Edict the whole game. Which is annoying. Urza Saga is probably harder to beat though. I'm going to take Urza's Saga. I think because we have a Sudden Edict, we have a better chance to beat that. Nice life from the Loam in Hand. Let's snip this. So we know what they can draw to. Stone brain, though, huh? I guess they could take Mishra's Factory, which is fine. So they have Life from the Loam Unknown. <clears throat> they 
There's, like, my Wasteland incentivizes them to go for, like, a main phase Dark Depths, which is nice. If they top deck it. Let's see what I could do here. God, I have a lot of options. Dark Rit, Liliana, Tick Up, Discarding Smallpox? Or just, I could just play it, I guess. And just discard Dark Ritual. They top deck the crop rotation. Wow. Okay. So they drew a crop rotation, a dark depths, a tabernacle. So I'm gonna get rid of smallpox here. Play land and pass. So they got a Dark Depths, a Crop Rotation, and a Tabernacle where the draws. Okay. Mm. That's really annoying. I, honestly, it's not annoying at all just because I have the Sudden Edict that they don't know about. So let's just uh, draw a card here. Uh, I can't play that. So I'm going to take up and just get rid of the other Lily here. I guess I can get rid of Stone Brain. Um, I guess I'm going to go after this. Then Sudden Edict puts them to one land, so should be game. Should be game. And it's not. They're going to keep playing. All right. No Urza Sagas left. What can I take from them now? They have two endurance. <laughs> Lethal Stone Brain. Lethal Stone Brain. Oh, man. Ah. Uh. Should I snip a Lethal Stone Brain? It's probably worth snipping, right? Good start. 69 card lands. Let's go. Good start. They did have one Minskin Boo, I think. And then the Punishing Fires also. I'm pulling up the list now, Whiskey. Let me take a look. Um, on six, six Dork Elves. 
That's a lot. Uh, 21 lands. 21 lands? Should be on... In, so you cut a land for a... Cutting a land for a dork is risky. I don't know if I would do that. Um, your opposition agent, I think, should be in the main deck. Though, that's about it. Alan Liberators, whatever, I think. I love four endurances. I think endurance is great. Yorion. Yeah, last scene on Death and Taxes, A. Eh? Not too long ago. God. This hand sucks versus Vile, but is good versus everything else. I think it has... I, I mean, I'm going to keep it, I think, versus Death and Taxes. Like, Tabby versus Death... Like, I don't know. Someone tell me if I'm wrong, but... Um, this Swamp Art, by the way, how beautiful is this? Like, this... I know it's like... A, this is like a new border, and I'm typically anti-new border, but damn, is that nice. Yeah, that's the sort of what I think I would do. Just uh, no vile. Cool, 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 cool. That's insane, actually. <laughs> that's like just, just, just bananas. Hopefully they just play. Uh, oh, they play a Gte. Okay, interesting. So I'm gonna wasteland them. Hopefully they miss one land drop and we can uh, smallpox them. No, nope, of course it's White Source. Don't have Skyclave in your Yorian deck, main, please, maybe. Just don't have Skyclave in your 80 card deck. Don't have drawn it. It's so fucking... Like, can we just talk about how fucking dumb that is? <laughs> like, just how fucking idiotic is that? I gave you up. I'm never, never willing to stop. Never gonna give me a little chuck. Quit it, it just ain't my stick. I fucking hate your index that have like the four of, not like just nonchalantly. Maybe I should have discarded a smallpox. We have plow also. Jeez. Just can't live without you. These. <laughs> uh, I think I just say okay. This stops me. Yeah, so maybe I should say dark right here. Interesting. I love how they draw double wasteland and 14 cards of their 80 card deck. It's just really good. It's really, really good play. I advise you do that if you want to do well with this deck. Alright. 
not in love with what we have to do here. Jesus Christ, huh? Oh, they got rid of their wasteland. If we draw a land, we're in we're in shape. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this person's draws have just been out of this world. Liliana the Veil. Cool. God damn it, man. And they drew us something to play instead of equipping that real life. Oh my fucking God, man. I can't believe we're going to lose to these brutal fucking draws. Oh, man. Listen to the music. Alright, with these draws, I have to rip like exactly sudden edict, I guess. <laughs> oh man, this is so fucking stupid. It's the dumbest game of magic I ever played in my life. Make them use a counter here, because there's no way they're not just going to go for the win. Just brick once. Put Yorion in hand. Please. Pretty please. Just don't have something else. Okay. I don't know if this is going to do anything versus Extraction Specialist. What, is this two or less, right? Um, God, I have a Torpor Orb in here. <laughs> like, just for this reason. They have Solitude and Extraction Specialist, right? Okay, let's just pass. Maybe I should have, like, a Vault of Whispers to, to get. A Vault of Whispers would not be the worst thing ever. This card's pretty hot, though. Okay. So we've gotten rid of two Flicker Wisps, one Skyclave. Damn, it's Snaring Bridges over there. Uh, Crucible Worlds, huh? So two Recruiters and one Skyclave already gone. Okay. Okay. It's a fucking battle. It's more of a battle than I... Then I would like... So I actually have to, like, top deck a land, right? They didn't attack. Oh, I'm dead. I had to take up on this. 
They have two one power things. I had to take up on this. I, I just punted the game. I was worried about it getting solituded, but I, I drew the him. I had to him and then tick up. Uh, that's a brutal punt. We actually could have come back from that. That's a brutal throw. I mean, no, I die next turn. Never mind. Because I, I just don't draw. I, I can't empty my hand. Damn. It's frustrating, though. Definitely made a mistake. Right, just bring in a ton of cards that are good. Stone Brain... This isn't stellar. My health spell bomb can come out. Maybe we're cutting stone brain here. They have like they can just win with like little shitters anyway, right? I'm trying to look at dark root. Damn, brutal. Brutal mistake on my part. Uh, I guess I'll keep. Not in love. Yeah, I let myself get tilted that met that game. Let's try to bounce back. Okay. Drawing double oppo agent is pretty weird. Hopefully they waste this. We really need this herb board to live. Uh, that's like the only reason I would want to like play the herb board, like sequence differently. I mean, I get the Liliana down tick here, which is like pretty good. Sure, I'm <laughs> fine with that. Man, this is tough. I want to agent, I want to him, I want to play expedition map, I want to tick up. What do I take up and get rid of? Is it Expedition Map? I actually think I just have to take up and get rid of Expedition Map and then pass. Okay. I think Opposition Agent is good enough in this matchup that I'm supposed to be, like, holding it up and, like, forcing them to, like, play Recruiter with, like, a Solitude. God, stop always having this goddamn card. This card busts my balls so much. And the fact that it's a Yorian deck just tilts me. I, I just can't wait till Yorian's fucking banned. If it wizards or whatever ever get their fucking shit in order. Nice. That makes it less likely they'll expect the second one, I guess. Plague Engineer? Oh, fuck off. <sighs> Eat shit. It's gonna be Solitude. Okay. Another mom in Skyclave. Uh, I guess I, I missed. No, I didn't miss three damage. I'd rather preserve my life total, I think. Just not rip a tutor. Just rip a literally recruiter or so forth here. Oh my god. <laughs> the Yorian decks. 
Like, draw one of your 20 fucking planes or, or, or field of runes or ether vials. Don't top deck exactly that. Killing me. Draw Batter Skull? No, okay. And this shit makes Crucible Worlds worse. Yeah, we're pretty fucked here. I mean, I did, like, the last game, I, there's a potential I threw. This one, I think, was just not winnable. We had to fade, like, a draw step and just couldn't do it. Probably just going to sack Stoneforge here. Yep. All right. Really got to rip a Plague Engineer. Yeah, it has to be like exactly Plague Engineer. Yeah, I might have thrown game one, but game two we got really unlucky. Just, like, we need... Uh, we can, I was going to say we can just go to the end of the game, but it's fine. All right, let's try again. Um, no black source, Mumal again. Mm, so weird. It's a keep, bottom maze of it. Turn one Thoughtseize, turn two Edict, turn three Lily. It sounds pretty nice. Sounds pretty nice. Damn, that's so brutal. Fucking. What's bizarre is like, <laughs> Yuri got banned in Modern because of how hard it was to like, like, like the sh shuffling and all this other stuff, which like is true of any format that it's legal in. So. I just don't understand why it's, why it's, the, if that was their reason, it shouldn't be legal in any format. Let's use. Oh, uh, this very interactive deck that I'm a big fan of. Cool, 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 cool. And they're not bubble fetching when they have a terrible hand, which is really weird. Yeah, this song, this song's not doing it for me. Uh, I don't think I'm going to dark right here to put the Lily in play. I don't want to discard anything. There you go, that's much better. And they played a fetch that I didn't know they had, so I know their hand, except for one card. It's definitely days, right? It's just definitely days. Now I'm going to save Sudden Edict. <laughs> I 
And then I'll play Stonebrain to get Murktides out of their deck. Did I not call exactly what they fucking had? That is so funny. Cat in the world. Of course, the card that bails everyone out of every mistake they make. Land. Land. Cool. Dangerous come, she's under my thumb. Under my thumb. So they might have a wasteland. Under my thumb. I guess I should have ticked up first. <clears throat> they actually drew the fucking brazen borrower, which is the only thing that makes me... If I tick up, they bounce it and make me discard it. Or, I guess... Then they would lose their days. Whatever. God, they can't believe they drew the one brazen borrower. That's so fucking annoying. <laughs> That's just so annoying. Oh my god, they didn't. They didn't do the the the, the thing. That's like the thing you do. This used to be the thing back when like Venser was like. I guess they're just gonna. Oh, they're gonna play it and attack it. Instead of making me discard it. Okay. Sure. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna do this now to F6 because F6 is awesome. And then I can get like a, a curse scroll to take care of the brazen borrower. This person clearly has not paid their MTGO dues because they haven't drawn an iteration yet. Cannot wait till the moment has come. Um, I think we're just gonna get retrofitter. It takes both of these out of a uh, bolt range. And they don't have Merc Tides. <laughs> so that should be game. They didn't want to get Sanctuary to Brainstorm there, which is interesting. Okay. All right. Delver. You could bring in like a Shouldred. You could bring in Plague Engineer, maybe. I think if you want ley lines, I guess.
I think Karns are actually very bad versus Delver. Um, there's really nothing I want to wish for versus Delver. Like, we're never going to get to that point. I could bring this in as a win con. I want all the remove. I guess Stone Brain. Pithing on Wasteland is kind of whatever. A currency converter could trim a couple stone brains. Try that. Yep, seems reasonable. It has non wasteable lands, a thought sees, etc. Cool, cool. <laughs> it's, it, you know, it, it's not only that I didn't draw, like, the Leyland of my opener, which is, like, whatever, right? The deck's huge. You don't have it in your opener. Who gives a shit? Yeah, and that's why I led with map over Thoughtseize, because it felt like a daze was incoming. If they do something like land ponder, I'm probably gonna spell bomb. Can I just get one moment dance with you? The main phase brainstorm, uh, trying to get delirium, I suppose. It's a big ask. You have to hit, yeah, and they missed, so. So I think I'll go Swamp, then Thought Seize them. Okay. Ooh, Smallpox. If I had another land, I'd be way more interested in that. And they're forcing it. Okay. I have Edict and Smallpox, so I don't think I want to pop it without being able to draw a card. It is annoying if they just had naturally have like non fetch. If they fetch, then I'll do it. Yeah, saving a Murktad. Mill the land. So, do they have another land? Is the question. They don't. They mill the land without having another land. These draws have not impressed me one bit. I am in. Uh, I am gonna do this now just to try to draw a land. Cool. That's really hot. Um, I'm gonna do this now so there's no more surveilling. So they have four cards in hand, I have four cards in hand, and I have three more, two more mana sources. Passing land, I just slam Le uh, Leyline here. Yeah, I don't even care. It's wasteland. They obviously don't have a one minute cantrip, so I'm just gonna put this in play. I 
And they tap deck the DRC. Nice. I guess I'm because I'm in a position where like I just want to play Shouldered. I guess. Well, that makes this way easier. I was like, they definitely top deck the land because they didn't concede, which is pretty fucking irritating. They just cast Meltdown just to, I guess, make it a flyer. Creature, instant land, sorcery. Okay. Man, this smallpox is going to be something. Nice. Pretty solid turn. Pretty solid turn. That's nice game. Yep. Alright. Alright. Beat Delver and Lands. It's pretty cool. Terrible board state, depending on who you are. <laughs> it's a great board state for me. Overall, pretty good performance. Like I said, I think I messed up game one versus Death and Taxes, but they, I mean, they, they ripped hot both games. Just, you know, what can you do? Last scene playing, is it just some stupid, yeah, it's a bad deck. Nars, blah, 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 Narset and stuff, who cares? I'm definitely going to keep this. This hand looks very reasonable. Oh, it's a Leyline deck? That's funny. Okay. Uh, the... V I guess they only have... Riding Regisaur is definitely the scariest. They only have mana for these, but if they play this, I'm, I can't be... Yeah, let's take Riding Regisaur. One of the few decks that Opposition Agent doesn't have text against. Sure thing. Another one. 
Currency Converter is awesome. I think Currency Converter is insane in Pox. I know I had some doubters uh, the last time, but I think it's really good. I right, say so the opposition agent two unknown. So like I said, we're we're pretty fucked if they if they get like a, a rod and reducer down. But it is what it is. Oh grief, grief here is. They got rid of dark ritual, so they have oppo and agent in hand, which doesn't have text. So. Oh, I guess currency converter doesn't have text because of this. I mean, because of like all of them, but whatever. All right, so I mean, I still have sudden edict. Moto, am I right? I mean, I run Curse Scroll also. Agony, that's, that can't be right. Can't be right that that card's playable. I mean, I definitely have to edict here. This is, this is, what, what are you doing? <laughs> like, that makes, why are you waiting for declare attackers? So weird. Um... All right, they have one turn to draw a discard. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah, nothing has a counter on it, buddy. You should, uh, yeah, pay attention to that. Sorry. Okay, so we just have to make sure we don't get Leyline, uh, like Leyline Helmed, so we just have to, we do have to find another Karn, which is going to be a bitch. Tabby, mm. I mean, I'm definitely going to play Tabby, right? Uh, yeah, I guess I should, just, I guess I could just discard Tabby. This is really not going to do anything. That. Let's see if they pay one here because that'll cut them off of potentially playing a helm for a turn, which is nice. So I'm just going to hold this edict then. Pay one. The thing is, like, like edict doesn't particularly matter. I don't think. Like not. I guess it matters. One buff. Then I have to pay two. I guess this. No, neither of them can attack it, right? So we're fine. Yeah, I only have two cards left, though. I guess I have a Pith Needle. Pith Needle would be pretty good. I guess I have to do this. I'm 
They discarded a grief. That's nice. This is a weird game. This is a very weird game. That card's nuts. <laughs> that card's real nuts. We take that. Card doesn't really have text, right? So. Fitter do some work here. Oh man, don't have top deck that don't top deck it. Play like. No, 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 no fucking way. God fucking damn it. God fucking damn it, man. Fuck. So I put, let's see, I can put them to eight, untap, attack for one, two, three, put them to five, shoot them to two. Fuck. Right, there's no way I have lethal next turn. God damn it. Ensnaring bridge. I can't attack with the four four. Life would be so easy if I could attack with the four four. <laughs> yeah, no, that would be so easy. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, I just like I guess I mean my bridge saved me. Like I would have died to like a bunch of void walkers and stuff probably, but. <sighs> All right, I'm trying to think. So I put them eight, I attack for three, puts them to five, I shoot them, puts them to three. I have to loot and just try to get lucky, I guess. God, that's so frustrating. That's such a frustrating way to lose. <sighs> Fuck, man. Painful. Did I, even I don't even sideboard right. Like, jeez. Whatever. Yeah, I just had to loot to try to hit a Karn. We had two Karns and one Pithing Needle as our outs. God, that's so annoying. Mana source into Helm.
Yeah, that's that. Those are the losses that just sting so much. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no black sources. Turn one lily, no black source. Cool. One land hand. God, the deck has 40, like 45% lands or something. Ridiculous. Okay. Cut, uh, put back retrofitter. And small pox. Alright. City of Traders. I gotta just take grief. Like if they want a dark red and opposition agent, that's like fine with me. If I top deck the Void Walker. Makes my life a little, a little more annoyed. A little more annoyed now. I am glad I took the grief though. I think that's right. And they drew and played that. Oh, that's really good for me actually. Now I can play Lily Tick Down and they can't um, do anything about it. If they had played City, they could have uh, thrown an Opposition Agent. Like, sack the Opposition Agent, use Dothy Voidwalker to attack Lily, then Lily's exile with a Void Counter. That would have been really frustrating to, to deal with, so. What's up, Boat? Long time to say. He's playing. <laughs> oh, you drew Shouldred! For the turn, your 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 draw for turn was children. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yep. 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 That those are that's reasonable. It's a very reasonable draw. That makes perfect sense. Like. That's the only thing that rewards the play is like top decking a four drop. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, happy birthday, dude. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I'm pretty fucked. I have like a, a draw step. They have like one fucking draw step now. Oh. Tell me they drew like dark writ for this opposition agent that's in hand. Then just like dub. Man, this was a frustrating match. <laughs> this is really frustrating. They did draw the dark ritual. <laughs> Top deck, shouldered in the dark red. Happy birthday to you, boat. <laughs> oh man, that's that's so tilting. Fuck. Oh man, that's the one thing about Pox, man. Cards are so powerful these days. Like, you have them on nothing, and they just top deck runners, and you're dead. You know, you don't have counter spells. It, it, it's so frustrating. Oh, well. I had a nice win versus Lands, which I was proud of, and we crushed Delver. So, you know, let's take it with a grain of salt. Let's just, you know. Before I give up the
How about Enchantress? Wanna play some Enchantress next? Someone in Japan has this uh, list with two Sarah Paragon on the board, which is which seems pretty hot. Sarah Paragon in uh in Enchantress seems pretty cool. It's been good. Like I like having it, right? Versus like Lance, Samwise, BGs. I think I'm gonna keep it. Maybe play Enchantress next. Yeah, I'm play Castle Lock Lane Tapped. In case I draw a swamp, maybe if they waste I may just go currency converter or whatever. Will this let me like waste then currency converter potentially? So another Oh nice. Some bullshit initiative deck. Chalice on one. Nice. Definitely regret not doing that now. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Mm. Yep. Uh, I guess versus Chalice deck should have should have run it out. Probably would have won me the game. Now they play the one the three drop right, and I lose the game instantly. Interesting. Interesting magic. Cool, cool, cool. Um. Yeah, there's not much versus these decks. They're gonna bring in like Chalice's. So Spell won't have text. Pig Needle won't have text. Could bring in like Plague Engineer, I guess. I, I, I don't know. Uh, a Torp Orb. I actually want to just bring in Torp Orb. I, like, Torp Orb is, is something that could do something. I actually, I'm bringing in Sky Sovereign. Uh, we can cut some Stone Brains and. Cut like one card. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Stone brain out. I think I agree. Okay, let's, let's try this. The old. They have turn one elite. Sp Bellbinder potentially, which would be annoying. Uh, at least one doesn't matter. I have double edict. I think we take Chrome Mox actually. Mm, Palace Jailer. I guess actually I'm gonna say Palace Jailer because that's like the one card. If they like get that down, we're pretty fucked. So like even if they turn one Spellbinder, I could just play the other edict and, and, and get them. So who cares? And they just decided not to do anything. Interesting. Another Chrome Mox. We'll take Elite Spellbinder. Play an Urza Saga. Sigo. Now they have, like, they're incentivized. Okay. Cavern. They top decked Athalia. Which is like the one thing that makes this fucking awkward, huh? God, that's so annoying. That's so annoying. Because if they go Mind Sensor, I can make a dude that Edict, like... <laughs> it's just so fucking irritating, these draws my opponents have had. <sighs> Fuck, man. It's probably just worth it to get, like, uh, make two dudes. So I'm just going to make two dudes. Fuck it. It's just so frustrating. They're incentivized to play Mind Sensor, which is, like, you know, no opposition agent. So we have that going for us. 
you like here with the trigger on the stack, I could have dark rated, made it, and had two mana floating to edict, but now Thalia ruins that. So, whatever. Yeah, like shocking. Didn't didn't <laughs> did not get there. Um. I'm actually gonna pass, I think. You're definitely gonna take four here. Top deck to plow, cool. All right, so they have Chromox, Chromox, unknown. Edict one away, they'll get rid of my incensor, which will be annoying if they play Chromox. Oh, wow, they get rid of, yeah, they get rid of Thalia, which is, now they can play Chromox. They play a null. Null rod in your double Chromox hand, okay. <laughs> you, you got me. They dead ass drew two Chromoxes and I discarded them both instead of the card with text. <laughs> Get rid of Curse Scroll because they have Null Rod. Alright, I mean, this is a bizarre fucking game. Sure. This is so weird. Don't tell me you're palace jailer exactly. I'm losing my fucking mind. I can't deal with how lucky. <laughs> I just can't. I got rid of a palace jailer. <laughs> they drew another one of 60 cards. Dude, I just can't fucking deal with it, man. I just can't deal with it. I guess I. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. I thought I had this one. Yeah, they... they <laughs> the draws did the plows are just... Kind of sickening. So I have to get retrofitter, I guess. Oh, fuck. There's a goddamn fucking <laughs> null rod. Wow, they, they brick three turns, drew hot three turns, and then we just edged it out. Fuck, man. Null Rod in the Chromox deck threw me off, though. I will say that. I'm glad I cut Stone Brains or so. <laughs> the Null Rod deck. I guess they they have. I have one more card than them that uses artifacts, so it's kind of weird. Let's rock and roll. Uh, ah, oh man, this is one of those, like, sucks keep hands, I think. 
It doesn't suck, but it's like not an optimal turn one. It's hard to molder. I love fucking seeing that. Like, I, I love that. Now I don't have to worry about like Chrome Mox Soul Land, so that's nice. Yeah, that's that's fine. Okay, here we go. Don't have another Soul Land like initiative would be pretty frustrating. Okay. Thalia would be pretty fucking irritating too. <sighs> it's fucking card, man. Like, Thalia into initiative creature, I don't think I could beat. Okay. So I'm going to edict them. So I can get, like, a Karn or a Sky Sovereign down. I'm gonna eat it now. Like sometimes you might want to wait for main phase, but like I don't care if they have a Chrome Mox, you know, like like on the end step. But if they have land initiative creature, they're gonna do it regardless. So. Fuck. Uh oh. Okay. That's not a card I care about. Initiative creature. Let's pull that in sure. Sky Sovereign, okay. Hmm. What does this cost? Seven? I can. I mean, I can just do it. Um, I guess we could him. The thing is, like, I don't want to get, I can lattice now, honestly, but then this can attack it twice, which I don't like. I don't even have, like, a, uh, well, let's say I don't have a ballista, but I couldn't use it with no right anyway. This is interesting. We could wait one turn and I could darker the Sky Sovereign right now. I actually like that the most, I think. And now we could just attack for like one. Uh, no rod does it mess up? Yeah, that's a good point. I need to have like a three two in play or something. That card doesn't have text. That that card that card is not gonna do what you want it to do. And you have a solitude. That's frustrating. I guess I should have hymned first. Cataclysm. Well, I'm glad that's taken care of. Fuck. Uh, 
Oh my god, and I can't even do like a pump thing because uh, Mistress Factor is an artifact. You can't like do your little pump trick. And they drew a Caracas. Cool, don't care. Alright. Oh, but I can just go get Sky Sovereign again, right? <laughs> How do I draw? <laughs> I have three cards with activated abilities. Like, what the fuck? How <laughs> do I keep drawing them? Um, if I get Lattice now, I win, right? No, that's not how it works. I can get Sky Sovereign, make them Caracas it, I guess. Hey, Arkin, how are you? Um, trying to salvage my, my league got wrecked by some death and taxes and some, uh, and I, a brutal top deck in, uh, versus, uh, mono black. They topped the ley line, uh, top of the helm. It's kind of brutal. Right, what am I supposed to do here? I guess sky sovereign. I take up, I do this, I attack. Oh. I guess you attack for three anyway. I mean, I probably have to get Sky Sovereign. Because it makes them bounce this and ties up mana for an initiative creature. So let's start with that. Oh, which, uh, what card's bugged from Reanimator? Oh, uh, Collective Brutality is bugged? Damn, did not know that. That's a nice 3-2. We take a 3-2 with 69 card uh, Pox. A 3-2 with 69 card Pox is like a 5-0. So, I'm feeling... I'm, I'm feeling pretty fucking good. We lost to... Uh, Yorion, Death and Taxes, like, hitting the nuts. And then we lost to uh, that uh, that Helm off the top, which is kind of brutal. Um, the Game 2 DNT, we got beat pretty bad. And 